we think it is a good book if you're just starting reading and also if you're a more advanced reader and has a wide age range. There is a lot of history, some sports and some friendship stuff in the book and it is definitely a page turner. You don't have to like rugby or sports to like rugby spirit. When Gerald Higgins was younger, he spent most of his time in the Viva Stadium. The Viva Stadium is a sports ground in Dublin. When the author Gerald Higgins came to the school, he gave us lots of tips about being an author, such as you have to read to be a good writer, and imagination is important for a great book. Gerald's son Billy inspired him to write Rugby Spirit. Jared used to tell Billy stories about sports when he was little, and Billy told Jared to write them all down. After all, we give this book 9 out of 10. This book to any age. Even if we don't like sports or rugby, still we would love it, and it's very Irish based. The author Jared Siggins has come to visit us twice. Once here in our very own brand new school in Furball, and once in Ingalway City. Gerard Siggins was born in Dublin and has lived in the shadow of Lansdowne Road, the old Aviva Stadium, and has been going to rugby matches there since he was big enough for his father to lift him over the turnstiles. This book, the chapters in this book are about four to seven pages long. This book is easy to read and I recommend it for beginners. This book will take about a week to read. A week to read. <laughs> this book, Rugby Spirit, is an amazing book. You learn a lot about Irish history and rugby players. The book is for all genders and ages. Jerry Siggins has written seven different rugby spirit books. In each one, there is a new ghost, new and new, and invent, new adventures. And read rugby read. spirit is also available in different languages. We'd rate this book ten out of ten. books called Duggery Peasant because they are fun, action-packed, funny and sarcastic. The average rating for us is 9 out of 10. There's lots of characters in Duggery Peasant and almost in Council. My personal rating would be 9 out of 10. It loses the mark because there's too much characters. I really like the font cover of the book because it has a very nice shading and tells you what's going to happen in the book. Um, in the plot of the first book, Stephanie Eggley's um, uncle, Gordon Eggley, has a mysterious <coughs> and then she meets Skulldog Pleasant, and he tells her about the magical world that she has not known about. There are 12 books in total, 10 actual books and 2 spin-offs. We all chose this book because we all think it's good and action-packed, like Evan said. <laughs> Place Called Perfect by Helena Duggan, written in 2010, published in 2011, and printed in the UK. We like this book for its simplicity yet adventurous twist to a book. I would really recommend this book for its adventure and unique way of writing. It is good for young, old girl, boy. Violet is the main female antagonist, and boy is a cheeky, clever boy who accompanies the main heroine on her adventure. In a place called Perfect, they have to wear glasses to stop them going blind. Lena Duggan first got this idea in an antique shop in Australia, where she found a set of glasses, but when she tried them on, she couldn't see anything. My opinion, it is an amazing, unpredictable book. I would recommend it worldwide. We give this book a 10 out of 10. The more you read, the more you'll know. The more you learn, the more places you'll go.